Hi, writers. I read a story or book called She Persisted. And there were 13 amazing women that in spite of things or being told that they couldn't do something, they kept going. And that's what it means to persist, to not give up. Even if somebody says, you can't do that, or you shouldn't even try to do that. Well, these women persisted and helped make so many amazing changes in the world. And I wanna hear about things that you have persisted in. And you've said to yourself, I'm gonna do that. I'm not going to give up. So that's what we're going to write about this week. And our paper is called, I Persisted. So let's go through our song because I want you to really think about something important to you where you kept going, okay? So we're gonna start with think, think, think. We're gonna plan out what we wanna write. We're going to write and then we're going to draw because we're also gonna use our pictures to help tell the story of what we persisted in. And I'm sure we all have things that we have kept going until we could really do it. So let's brainstorm. Let's think about some things that maybe you have persisted in. Let's see, maybe you said, I really wanna ride a two wheeler. I'm gonna keep going. I know I'm gonna fall a few times, but I want my training wheels off and I want to ride a two wheeler. And you kept trying and trying and trying. And then suddenly one day you could keep the bike going and you were pedaling away. So maybe that was one thing, or maybe you said, I really want to learn how to bake cookies. And your grown-ups were like, no, you can't do that. But you said, well, I'm gonna try with grown-ups help, of course. And you figured out what you needed to do and where you needed help and when you needed help and you practice measuring the ingredients, the things that went into the cookies, and you practice making the cookies into a nice shape. Next thing you knew, you had yummy cookies for you and your family. Or maybe you wanted to build an amazing Lego building. And the first few times you're like, eh, I don't really like this, or it doesn't look the way I want it to, or it doesn't look the way it looks on the box, or it doesn't look the way my friends looked. And you took it apart and put it together and took it apart and put it together and you didn't give up because you wanted to make an amazing Lego building. And then next thing you know, after you tried and you persisted, you had an amazing Lego building. So those are just some of the examples of some things that you can write about. Things that you persisted with and succeeded. Or maybe you haven't succeeded yet, and that's okay too. Because the women in this book, they started something when they were maybe your age, and now they're older, but they kept going. So maybe it's something you haven't done yet, but you're gonna keep trying. So that's another possibility. Maybe you decide you wanna be an astronaut like Mae Jemison or Sally Ride. And you can't go to space when you're five or six years old, but that doesn't mean that you can't read books about space and learn everything that you need to know and keep reading about space and keep studying and working hard in school and 
Who knows, one day we may be watching you go into space. That would be so amazing. Or maybe you really want to be, let's see, a writer like Nellie Bly. And you're practicing your writing right now in Writer's Workshop. And you want to be a reporter. And you're starting now by practicing your writing. Who knows? Or maybe you decide, I want to be a lawyer. And I want to read things about lawyers and laws and I want to help people and I want to defend people to stand up for what's right. So you read about different things and different laws and different rules. And maybe one day you might even end up in the Supreme Court like Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Who knows? There's so many things that you can persist and keep trying. I know you can. So that's what you're going to be doing, thinking about something that you're gonna persist and keep going. And I even added a second page. And I'm gonna tell you why. We're gonna talk about having a beginning of a story, a middle of a story, and an ending. So the beginning is, you might say, I persisted in learning about building Legos. And maybe your middle is, I built a lot of different buildings, but I didn't really like any of them, but I kept building and building and building. And then you can end it by saying, after so many tries or so many weeks, I finally built my perfect Lego building. So you had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But it might be something like learning how to be an astronaut, you're not there yet. But you can say, I persisted in studying about astronauts and outer space and planets. And you also need to know a lot of math. And I'm going to keep studying and reading books and watching everything I can. And someday I'll be an astronaut. Same thing, beginning, middle, and end. So I want you to take some time and think about something that you are persisting with, or maybe it's something that you have already finished and done. So let's stop, take some time and think and plan about what we want to write about. Keep going, writers.